Paul, I have to say 2020 has been a very odd year for most of us mm-hmm. in a sense, especially in, in, and yet for you and your professional life, it's been a boon. It's been incredible. How is that paradox city with you? Um, first of all, hello and thank you for talking with me. But um, yeah, it, it, it has been exactly that in the sense that the, the, the world just feels like a, a crazy, crazy place at the moment when you put on top of it that uh, like I look back on this year and it, it, I look back on it for sure as being the most kind of critical to date in terms of my career and everything. And on the other hand, I look back on it and it's just been one of those years to forget on the other hand. So it's, 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 got, it's, it's a double-edged sword in that sense. It's, it's been amazing and also tricky as it has been for everybody, I think. A year ago, your thoughts were fairly private to you and the people that you love, be it friends or family. Sure. Now, all of a sudden, when you're on social media and your thoughts, there are hundreds of thousands of people who follow and are interested in you. How have you adapted to that aspect of fame? There's just there's just more there's more responsibility with it. It's not necessarily uh, it's it's not it's not a private thing. It's not for my just my family and friends anymore and that's that's just a bit of a culture shift it's like okay there's a million people on there now wanting to see see what i'm doing and and i'm kind of figuring i'm taking a little bit of a step back with it at the moment just to kind of figure out what how to do it. I think I'm not really, I'm not, that's my answer is I'm not really sure. It's, it's, I find that a little bit difficult, but it's, but at the same time, it's, it's amazing. It's like these people have come to, as a result of normal people and, and yeah, it's pretty cool. What has this experience of playing Connell taught you about communication? Taught me probably what not to do. (laughs) Yeah, definitely what not to do. Um, yeah, I, I suppose you take loads of things from um, from various characters. Him, I probably took a lot away from. And the further I get away from the shoot, the more I'm like, oh yeah, this this thing as well, and that, and and I think, but particularly around the um, communication side of things, you see you see the benefit of it. Like you see when he talks to when he talks to Marianne, when he talks to the counselor how hard that can be for him, but the, but the rewards of that, you know? When it's like, this is something that doesn't naturally come to me to express how I'm feeling, blah, 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 blah. When I do it, and I'm talking from Connell's perspective here, it's, there is massive rewards in it. And I think um, that's probably a little rule of life that we could all go by, I think. Talk a little bit about the success of normal people. What type of avenue has that opened for you to now explore that even further? I'm in Sydney at the moment, hence the kind of military haircut I'm playing a um, Marine in it. And it's all kind of, uh, it's a musical, um, new music by uh, Nicholas Bertel. And it's, uh, it's super exciting. I'm being put through my paces. I'm feeling muscles that I've never felt before from dancing. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just really satisfying. You know, that kind of feeling when your body's really working towards something. I definitely feel that. Talk a little about this time in your life now because of the success of normal people and you are on people's radar, this opportunity now to stretch out, to leave Ireland, yeah. to go around the world and act. It's thought it's, it's, if it's, it's just, it's a huge privilege, especially at the, at the, at the time in the world that we're in and everything just feels like it's condensed and tight and pressurized. And I feel like a little bit of me is cheating the system to a certain extent. I get to be doing the thing that I love. And I'm like, I think we're very lucky that the film industry has got to grips with this to a certain extent in terms of making shooting films achievable again. But um, it's, 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 a, it's just diff- really difficult to describe in terms of this time last year I was just waiting and waiting and waiting for the show to come out and I I think we'd seen most of the episodes at this point but you're kind of double guessing yourself you're like oh 
is this going to be good? Is it going to work? Um, and thankfully, I think it did. And I, um, and I get to be here and hope the next year is looking good and busy. So just I'm working hard to try and keep that momentum going forward. And the last question for you, I'd be remorse if your fans didn't know, is Connell's chain in a safe place? Connell's chain, the last time I checked, is in a very, very safe place. Yeah. <laughs>